Hello, my name is Tom Cormier, founder of the Living Legacy Project. Our mission is to save the living history of the 20th century before it's lost forever. And we do this by providing families with legacy building tools and training so that they can document and share their life experiences, values, and traditions. We also provide nonprofit organizations and values based businesses an opportunity to participate in ways that are in sync with their own mission. The financial and estate planning industry is ideally positioned to take advantage of the Living Legacy Project, and we have developed a program that solves one of the most pressing issues facing the industry today. Let me explain. At this point in time, there is no argument that we stand at the threshold of the greatest generational transfer of wealth in history. Conventional wisdom suggests that this transfer will be to the baby boomers, or in some cases, skip to Generation X. But there is an intermediate issue many are not addressing, and that is with the surviving spouse. So says Barbara Kay, author of The $14 Trillion Woman, who forewarns financial advisors about the risk of losing over 70% of all managed accounts during this transition. Until recently, the financial advisor's primary relationship has been established with the patriarch of the family, leaving the surviving spouse with little loyalty to their advisor when the husband passes away. With this newfound inheritance, about three out of four surviving spouses will seek financial advice from their own network of family and friends, taking their financial estate with them. In this case, advice is to find a way to win the heart of the matriarch before it's too late. Studies have shown by a factor of 7 to 1 that baby boomers and their elders feel it is more important to pass on their life lessons and values than just the financial assets. Their interest is in leaving a legacy as different from an inheritance because a legacy captures all facets of an individual's life, including their family traditions and history, sharing stories, values, and wishes. Despite the lopsided preference of building a legacy rather than merely giving an inheritance, sadly, fewer than one in 10 families have even considered or begun the task. By providing a solution for this, Financial advisors can earn a place in the heart of the family and even secure an intergenerational relationship. And that solution is now within your grasp. Over the past five years, a team of industry-leading personal historians, legacy professionals, genealogists, oral historians, and software engineers have built a cloud-secured living history library that is second to none. LegacyStories.org is honored to be the flagship living history library for the Living Legacy Project. Now, This is not just any web-based archive. This library is jam-packed with interactive legacy building tools, state-of-the-art voice recording technology, story prompts and activities, and is supported by a network of certified legacy advisors to provide assistance where it's needed most. But one living history library is not enough to reach the masses while time is of the essence. So we've made it possible for values-based businesses to have their own private label living history library without any need for IT involvement, and it can be deployed in only two months. So how could a financial services company benefit by owning their own living history library? Let me count the ways. The marketing and PR opportunities are endless, potentially bringing new families into the fold. For existing clients, your brokers and agents will instantly have a way to engage with the family in a purposeful way, encouraging them to start building the family legacy. Having a certified legacy advisor available can help assure the family is continuing the legacy building process and provide direction and advice that can rarely be found anywhere else. When grandma starts documenting her life stories, the rest of the family wants to hear them, which builds an unbreakable intergenerational connection within your library.
As this values-based relationship deepens, there will be more frequent opportunities to connect with clients and offer additional financial products and services. And that's just the beginning. In the next few minutes, I will show you some of the library's features that can secure your clients' legacies and also secure for you the future of their financial estate. Imagine the possibilities. This is a picture of when I got my first job. I had been home raising my kids for 15 years, but nobody would hire me because I had no experience. This is the boat that I came over on. It was supposed to take nine days, but we had some storm at sea, so it took a little over 10 days before I saw the Statue of Liberty. When I saw that, I knew I had arrived. Mm -hmm.